Hi everyone, it's Tiffany. I am back in The Sims 4 with our My Wedding Stories Rags to Riches challenge. We have a lot of drama unfolding, but I do think today's episode will contain building, uh, build by mo build by mode things because I want to make a few changes here. Not changes, I just want to add some pizzazz in here. <laughs> so anyway, um, as you know the layout, I'm just giving you a quick view of the layout. But we're not going to, well, should we jump right into it? Maybe we'll jump right into building, or I mean, gameplay, and then we'll do a few build by things, maybe, perhaps. I still am very uncertain about what I want to do downstairs in terms of the bathroom. I don't want, I guess I could do the bathroom like here. That might be the better deal. Um, I was hoping that would be part of the kitchen, but if this is going to be the dining room, we could just do a weird kitchen kind of thing, maybe. I don't know. We'll figure it out. This might end up not being a dining room and being a kitchen, and then we'll have dining here, perhaps. I'm not sure. I do think the best bet for bathroom will be right here, though. And I don't want to have no bathroom downstairs because I just think it's inconvenient for, I mean, having guests come upstairs or if they're in the shop, they have to go all the way upstairs to go use the bathroom. But anyway... I don't know what I want to do first. Um, it looks like he's harvesting some lilies. Is that what he's doing? Oh, he's researching. Sorry. Um, well, there's no room there. So I'm just going to make like a little pile of bouquets down here. Let's check to see. We do have 10 lilies left. So I'm going to have him go ahead and make the arrangements that we need to make. I think we'll only make 7, 8, 9, 10. There's three. So two more. Um, and then... Maybe we'll get to selling soon after here. So, what's she doing? She's going to research some things. She needs to take care of the babies. Their birthdays are coming up here soon. Flower and flower. <laughs> that means we're definitely going to need to get them their room all set up. That's for sure. So, maybe we'll do that in this episode. I don't know if we're going to have their birthday party in this episode, but we will at least start decorating their rooms. Um, I think we're going to do... I wanted to do bunk beds in the rooms... But I'm thinking now that I'll just, it's just going to be too small either way. <laughs> These rooms are going to be so small because the bed's going to take up this whole tile. That'll leave only like a little walk space. I don't know what to do, but I'm thinking this one will be a lot better because we could do a bed here and then a desk here. Um, that's for when they're kids anyway. So maybe they can both just hang out in here to begin with, like a little toddler hangout and then we can start building a bedroom here. I don't think I want to do bunk beds because the only way I would want to is if they were against this wall because this it'll obviously block this door. I mean, we'll have a little bit of space to walk in, but it's not the greatest. So I think we'll just do single beds and flower will have one room and flower will have the other room. <laughs> Cracks me up every single time. All right, so let's see what she needs to do or wants to do um, maybe we can secretly send a flirty text or a happy text now she doesn't want to go on another date with her spouse we do have that to do which he still needs to perform more romantic gestures <laughs> classic um since she's just hanging around though we will go ahead and tend this table and have a nighttime market no babies no stop it Everybody be popping out babies. Really, it's just her, her mom, and Lucia. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> anyway, we're going to have this little yard sale now. We're at 331,000 simoleons. So hopefully we will be in a lot more in just a second. Um, I'm glad he got through all of the lilies today. That's for sure. All right, I need her to come back and tend this table. Thank you for checking the baby, though. That was really nice. I think after he's done with this bouquet, we're going to send a flirty text or something to Yamato. Um, just a text, just a regular text. Um, and I was going to hope that they could go out on a date, but maybe they can still, maybe they can still date. I mean, they can do it here. Just have like a little date night in, in the house, right? So that might be an option. I'm just trying to move along all of these flowers. He's getting a shower, so that's cool. Um, his, sorry, the, the thing's almost over. The yard sale's almost over. So we'll go ahead and I think we're going to have a date night at home. Oh, sorry. There's a social event happening right now. That's fine. It should be over here in a second. Perfect. 
All right, now you can ask her on a date. I'm gonna try to put these up on the table. So we did sell almost, I guess around 10,000 simoleons of flowers, which is awesome. One evening's work. Um, we will be spending that quickly. <laughs> Hopefully we will stay within a certain budget and not spend all of that. I'm just gonna have them have a day at home. Oh goodness, oh goodness, the lag is real. So we're having a date night at home. Um, we're gonna, s how do we sit and talk when we don't have anywhere to sit? <laughs> well, we could sit up here and talk, sit together. Let's sit and talk up there. Right after they had both texted their significant others. All right, I don't know what she's doing. Oh, she's still tending the table. Why was she still tending the table? Sit together. Forget the babies. <laughs> Forget the babies. All right, so they're gonna sit. No, get back here. Get. At least he cares about the babies. Um, sit together. She's gonna get up next. No. Ah! There we go. Um, blow a kiss. I don't know. Is that flirty? Let's see. Flirt. I just need like flirting, flirting stuff, and then romance. Uh, be flirty. I don't know. Uh, tell your date a story. Okay, things are. We gotta go downstairs and take care of the babies because they are not. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Bottle feed, and then you could feed this one. Okay, that should be fine for now. Alright, and then he can go ahead and tell her a story, maybe. Tell wedding story. So we gotta get at least silver on this. Maybe gold, that would be nice. I don't know, They're not. there's not a metal here, so I don't know why. Maybe it's because it's at home. Offer oh, rose. Okay, tell your date a story. We literally told her a story, so. Um, story, 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 story. Come on. Where's story? Just any kind of story. Tell an engaging story. Okay, and then we'll do, oops, we'll do, nope. We'll do a massage next. Passionate kiss is always nice. But let's try to get a massage. So he, she, he wants to give her a massage. Or she wants to give him a massage. Whatever. Offer massage. Alright. So we reached the main goal there. Woohoo with your date. Stop it. Woohoo. Put the baby down. We don't have time for that right now. What? We can't woohoo. I guess we can't woohoo here. Can we woohoo in the shower? Woohoo with Rosemary. Come on. Yeah, I don't know why it's not doing the goals. Um, that's a little disappointing. I guess we just have to leave the house to get a gold date, which is fine. It's 3 a.m. This is not fantastic. We really need to <laughs> get them uh, situated here. All right, so let's take care of the babies. Bottle feed, rock, shush, make a silly face, cuddle. And you're going to do the same thing. So he needs to actually go to bed. Um, since this isn't really doing anything and it's not moving up here, then I guess we're just gonna not worry about it. So she is a little hungry. We'll have her get something to eat. Although I should have her make something. Have her cook. The lag is so real. Alright, and party size of that. And then he needs to go to the bathroom. So apparently we just can't woohoo on this bed, which kind of is dumb. But it makes sense. Because it's against a wall. I mean, we're working on it with a little house, even though it looks like a nice big mansion. <laughs> so, we'll have him go to sleep for a little bit. He can eat in the morning. And the baby should be well taken care of at this point. Fed, changed, all of that. And, oh, we did get a gold medal. It just didn't mark it down. Okay. So, now Rosemary has 10,000 satisfaction points. I, she already has the never needs to sleep. So, we could do the forever full. I forget. I honestly forget what we were aiming for. Um, what else does she have? I think that's the only thing she has. Because I was going to do, like, the, the uh, 
like these ones, the antiseptic, like it decays slower, but this one literally you never take a bath for the forever fresh. I think we'll just do forever full. She'll literally never need to eat. It'll just be nice. I mean, and she, well, do we never want to take a bath again? That's, well, I kind of like when they take showers, but she's still going to have to cook for people. Let's just redeem forever full. All right, so she is forever full, never needs to worry about eating. She's still going to cook, though. Um, we got to change this dirty diaper, and then I'm feeling like that one's going to come up next. All right, so she doesn't need to eat. Let's see that, and there, and then I'll put this in the fridge for everybody else. All right. Since she's awake, we're going to, oh my goodness, tend these, that's for sure. And then we're going to harvest all of the lilies. I'm gonna take this out here and put it in there. And then, I don't know if these are gonna need, it doesn't look like they need watered or tending to in any way. All right, now you need a diaper change. All right, and then he needs to get something to eat. So I guess he's gonna, he'll sleep in a little bit more. All right, let's check her inventory and see what, we have 54 lilies. <laughs> if I had a calculator right now, I could tell you how many bouquets that's gonna make. I mean, I'm sure some of you can do quick math like that, but I cannot. I'm <laughs> 54 divided by three. That's 18 bouquets. 18 times, let's just say a thousand. I know it's a little bit more than that, but that's 18,000 simoleons that we can possibly make just today. So we just got to put in the work and all will be well. So I'm going to have her put in the first shift of work and then he can come and do the next shift. I really, really need to get these, this painted upstairs. It's looking so bad. Rosemary is now level nine of the flower arranging scale, which is fantastic. He needed to eat and all that jazz, but I'm gonna have him come out here and tend this table and have a yard sale. I know the baby's crying, but it is what it is. We gotta sacrifice. <laughs> All right, will this fit on the table? It does, perfect. Because we still have to sell yesterday's bouquets, uh-oh. In the end, oh, good, good. I'm sorry to hear though. <laughs> Perfect, he is my boyfriend now. I mean, I'm married, I cannot say that. <laughs> All right, since she is on a roll, let's go ahead and continue on. And we'll have her make a couple more arrangements here. All right, and you, sir, I know the baby's sad. All right, let's maybe bottle feed, change. I don't think she'll, he'll need to change her diaper. I'm gonna hang up on her. All right, when we sell one bouquet, I will, okay. Stop tending the table, end the yard sale early. Could have just stopped tending the table and came back to the yard sale, that would have been better. All right, let's tend the table again. And I need her to come back and do an arrangement here go and then he's gonna need to start a yard sale problem with having twins one goes off and the other one's quiet and then the other one goes off while the other one's quiet and it's back and forth constantly okay you're gonna have to wait to tend that table we're gonna have to bottle feed shush rock make silly face and cuddle and then you can go out and tend the table rosemary's getting a phone call i thought she was getting a phone call okay now, after all of that's done, <laughs> finally be able to sell some bouquets, maybe? All right, let me get her next up on the arrangement list here. There we go. All right, it is time to have that yard sale. So start yard sale, please. Is that baby crying? Are you kidding me? Ugh. <laughs> They're both crying. They both need their diapers changed. All right, let's change the dirty diapers of all of these babies after we sell a few of these bouquets. I really want to sell at least all the ones on the table. That would be nice because this one was made today. Most of these were made today, though, actually. I think we made like six or something like that. All right, you could go back over here next and make a bouquet. Come on, there's four people. Yes, we sold one. We can go a long time with their diapers being dirty. We don't have to worry about it. All right, so that's honestly good enough, but let's try to sell this last one. And there we go. Yard sale ended early. Perfect. This is beautiful. 
All right, so he's gonna go take care of the babies and they're finally asleep. Now we can come out here and do this again. We could also help with the flowers, but yeah. All right, here we go. Okay, we can apparently only fit three on there. I thought we could fit, I mean, we can fit more with the move objects cheat on, but only three today. So if we keep up and sell as many as we're making, it's gonna be wonderful. Let's go back over here. Continue these wedding bouquets. I don't know how many more we can make. I don't know how many we've made. Probably still quite a few. Yeah. Quite a few. <laughs> All right, and then we'll put that one there. And then this one can go there. Okay, all is good. They seem like they're just chatting and he's not really trying to sell the items. Uh, a baby needs taken care of. All right, well, let's try. I guess we're not selling anything out here now. Let's go ahead and forget that. End the event early. Let's go in here and I thought we just changed dirty diapers, goodness. All right, so next thing I wanna do, I want her to be done making bouquets. I'm gonna have him kind of take care of himself. Like do what he gotta do, you know, eat and eat and get some sleep. <laughs> oh, really he needs to just eat and take care of the baby. Uh, let's see. Okay, well, you know what? It is time to age up, so let's age up flower. Is this the first flower? Is this the first flower? This is first flower, she ages up first. It's happy birthday to flower, first one. And then, happy birthday to flower number two. Cindy has sent flower a gift. Flower, okay, flower, I feel like she's pretty sweet. Um. I definitely get independent vibes from her. Uh, flower. Like angelic almost. I think she's going to be angelic and Flower is going to be independent. Well, maybe not. Flower might be inquisitive because baking is like inquisitive, you know? So do we want angelic or do we want independent for Flower? Hmm. I almost want to say angelic, but I also want to say independent. Independent and inquisitive, I feel like. I've, I've, that's calling me. All right, so there's little flower, numero uno. <laughs> and then, ugh, mom, put her down. Put her down. You were supposed to be making bouquets. Get back to the bouquet making. You have many, many more to go. <laughs> They didn't really have any meetups with their lovers either, so we need to work on that in the next episode. Um, let me redo this one because I think I clicked on the wrong one. And then let's get another one. She's just going to work into the night on these. And then dad is going to age them all up. So flower, little flower. I'm definitely going to put them in create a sim in between episodes as well. All right, flower. So we had independent, she's inquisitive. Oh my gosh, they look exactly the same. <laughs> They're even wearing the same colors. Like, what the heck? I think we're definitely going to have to do... Wait, does she look... She has uh, Rosemary's eyes. Or no, she doesn't. She has... Yeah, she has Rosemary's eyes, I think. Wait, I don't even know. Yeah, and she has brown eyes. Hmm. I see how he does have brown eyes, right? Yeah. So he... Flower, like the, <laughs> the petal flower... Looks a little bit more like him, but they're both blonde, like their mom. <laughs> Super cute. All right, so two little flowers, perfect. Now, let's see. They're probably very upset. They're both hungry. So let's open up this and get a fruit salad out and they can just hang out and eat. Nope, don't do that. So let's have them eat. Grab a serving and grab a serving. All right. I don't think she grabbed a serving. Is she, she's just throwing a tantrum? Okay, there was apparently only one fruit salad there. Grab a serving. Okay. We do need to get them some toys and things. It's okay, that's what we'll be working on here shortly. We're gonna throw in uh, some new stuff into the house. 
All right, so we have two toddlers. Oh, this isn't going to be stressful at all. <laughs> all right, so let's have them kind of chat to one another and um, babble to one another, be friends, make funny faces. Got that social interaction. Look at that, sweet sisters. And for the bouquets here. I will put that one there, and I don't know how many more. She needs to make 12, so 3, 6, 9, 12, 4 ish. Alright. I just have her continue that while we maybe start working on the build by situation. We're not going to spend too much time in here, but it will be the remainder of the episode, just as an FYI. Alright, so we need to make flower and flowers rooms. Um,. We need to color them. We need to do all of our fun stuff. So, I don't know what colors I really want to go with. Um, I was thinking maybe we go dark wood, but they're on the beach and their house is light and it's blue and it's all of that stuff. So, I don't know if I want to go light wood. This matches the countertops, but I don't know if that's the countertop color vibe we're going for. I might go like, see this, that's just not the vibe we're going for. Maybe like more sleek like this. I feel like we need to change the time of day. Just so I can kind of get a, a feel for the outside again. So like black, whites, blues. Oops, too far. So we could go. I just don't know if this is the wood that I want to choose. I mean, we can do this. That's. I think that's a little too much. Probably not what we want to do. So we could go wood like this. This might be too rustic. I think that's way too rustic. So if we do something more smooth like this, it could work. Maybe just we'll do some black flooring. And that, that might be good enough. Let's see, what else do we have? I mean, we could do these too. This is some interesting tile. I kind of, I quite like it. Might be able to get away with it in the bathroom upstairs. I think I like that. We'll do both have, we'll have, have both of them have that. <laughs> um, we do have kind of like this basic wallpaper, but I definitely don't want it upstairs. I guess I can paint everybody's walls this until we know for certain what we want to do. But I definitely don't want it here in the, what was that? I had like a beach, beach thing. Okay, let's see, let's see. This is, this is the one that's on there now. So we could use this in the girls' rooms. So I forget who got what room, but that really doesn't matter, I guess. I can't tell if this is green or if this is yellow. I think it might be a yellow. And this is an orange. And we have this pink. I mean, these are nice colors. Do I want to go with these, though? That's the real question. I think we could safely go with the green for at least one of them. Maybe this room. And this is actually pretty cool. It doesn't really go with the whole vibe, though, of the, the area. We could do a, a backsplash of this, though, if we're going to do the kitchen in here. See, we could do that. That, I think, matches the house a little bit. Maybe. Let me see what it looks like. I don't know, that kind of looks a little weird. I don't think I like it. All right, um, going back. I do like it, I just don't think it goes with that room in particular. Um, we could do a different kind of floor in the kitchen and make, instead of it being open, we can do something different there, perhaps. Perhaps. Um, this, well, that's too much I think we could do something like this I don't know if I like the white but maybe we have the get to work that's the one I had just a second ago I just don't like the ones with the br bricks because I mean the wall is literally a brick right this one well I think our best bet is that first one unless we do something like that that's a puzzle mat <laughs> puzzle mat floor um we could just do this for now, it just seems so um, not kitcheny. 
but we can do a, definitely do a different colored kitchen, which is good. I originally was going to do an exit here, but I think that we'll stick to what we have. However, I, if I do move this exit, that gives us a lot more wiggle room on placing the kitchen. But like I said, I think we're going to do a bathroom here and we'll do like two tiled bathroom, maybe a three tiled bathroom. Let's see what this looks like first. Oops. Why to just put the walls up? So it is quite tucked behind here, but I think it's okay. I think um, we'll probably have to put a wall here to kind of try to even it out. I mean, can we do this? Can we do that? I don't know if I like that. <laughs> we could probably do a half wall. Maybe, maybe we'll do a larger half wall like here, like that. No, that's not going to work. We could do that. Let's, let's forget that. I just don't like how dark it looks over here, especially it not lining up there at the end. So maybe we could always bring it back. Let's try bring it back one. Okay, this might work. This might work a lot better. Um, I could make it wider to kind of make up for it. And that will probably be our bathroom. I think we can make it work. So let's aim for that. And then this will just be general living and dining. And then, like I said, I wasn't originally going to block off the kitchen. But I do think it's the move considering the different colors in here. So if we can go ahead and get an arch, so maybe we do a square arch, like a big, a big square arch. I want something giant, like, well, this might, is this smaller? This one, maybe? Those are not tall at all. <laughs> I thought there would be taller ones. What the heck? Maybe this size? I don't think there's any, we can do just like doors. That's too tall though. We could do a circle arch as well, but then it's like a little taller than the other ones. We could do this square arch. Well, it's kind of more like circular. And there's this one as well. This one's kind of more like what I wanted to go for. So maybe we should go with that one. It's a classic. We'll go with white. We could go with black as well. There's not really a black one. All right, so we'll just do that for the kitchen, I suppose. I don't know if I like it, but we're, we're going to figure it out <laughs> as we go along here. So again, I'm um, not too sure about this wallpaper. I think it'll change when we change the colors of everything. So I originally said we were going to focus on the girls room, but I think this will just be a multi-episode thing where we kind of just throw things together as we go. <laughs> I do need to get them some beds though. I think that we need to jump in and do that really quickly. So toddler beds. I don't think we need to get anything too fancy. I mean, I love these beds, but they're just toddler beds and we're gonna get rid of them. So I really think we can go with something pretty simple. We can go, let's see. This one's a white one with pink. So we can have one in here and then we can get with green for in here like I said I was gonna focus on one room at a time but so let's just uh, do this then that way they still have that room and then I would love to put the play toys upstairs but where <laughs> so maybe we just uh, get them some slablets for now let's see what we have slablets they might be in the other one this one here here we go they're a little pricey, but I mean, we're going to get them. So two slablets and I want to eventually get them like a tent and everything, but <laughs> I know we're limited on space. <sighs> ah, that's the problem. We could always like get one and put it here though. But if we have the literal, well, this will be more dining room area. Yeah, it'll, it will figure it out. But I got some basics here. I got the tablets. I got the beds. We do need to get the potties as well. Do I put the potties in here or do I put them? Maybe I put them against this wall. So 
so that we could still what why can't i put them there oh right what okay that didn't make any sense interesting um so i guess i'll put one on each wall <laughs> So there we go. Let's just go with that for now. And in the next episode, I'll do another like few minutes of building at some point. But that's where we're sitting right now. I'm going to go ahead and put the slablets in the girls' inventory. I know it's a little laggy. Usually is after you get out of build by mode. It is what it is. All right. So let's get one to her and one to her. I don't know what they're still angry about. I think we're still just, we're hanging out. Let's get them to bed. So flower goes here and then flower goes here i'd like i said i need to put them in creative sim so i'll try to do that in between episodes uh and then like i said we'll come back and we'll build more or design more this is definitely a rough draft <laughs> like i don't even know what i did with the downstairs it's um definitely not what i want i think i'm gonna end up going lighter floor in here and we might open this back up we'll see but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and I will see you next time.